Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing, and welcome to Barber Shop. I know we're well into December already. I know we're moving on to the holiday season, and believe me, I love this season. But my heart kind of always lies with the October 31st season. You can't see it, but I'm wearing a uh, Frankenstein t-shirt under this thing. Every year, when Halloween kicks into high gear on July 5th, I like to dig in and read horror comics, play some scary video games, put up some macabre decorations, and watch some horror movies. And I like all kinds of horror films, but my heart is with the classics. And This year I did a deep dive into Hammer movies and old American international films, that kind of thing, where despite some fantastic acting sometimes, the star is, I would argue, the mood. And I know that's not supposed to be December's mood, but it's been more than a month since Halloween, and I started to feel that pull toward cobwebs and creaky doors. So I was excited to have an excuse to read the brand new collected edition of Wellington. This graphic novel really gave me that moody vibe of weirdness and creepiness, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Wellington was created by Aaron Mankey, who you might know as the creator of the Lore podcast, which spun into the Lore TV show. That podcast digs into the dark side of history talking about scary truths and scary things people believe to be true and what it calls a modern campfire experience, which I think is a pretty solid description. So Wellington, the comic, finds Mankey joined by one of my favorite comic book writers, Delilah Dawson, to write a new story, a fictional story that operates in that same milieu. Back in the days when you could actually meet people in person, I had a chance to hang out with Delilah and Aaron a bit at the IDW booth at a convention and hear a little about the tale they were crafting together. And I was excited from day one. And I was also excited about the visual side of this. Piotr Kowalski draws this comic, and I'd always loved his work, but I thought of his visuals as being really contemporary and stylish. But I was blown away by the sense of time and place he brings to the, 19, or excuse me, the 1828 setting. Brad Simpson provides the color art, and they're an amazing artistic pairing, really capturing that sense of mood I was talking about. So Wellington is about the Duke of Wellington, known for defeating Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo. Maybe you knew that part of his history. You probably didn't know the secret history revealed here when he is plunged into the world of occult investigation. It actually starts innocently enough with a letter calling Wellington and his wife to the house of a friend. Well, not innocently. From the beginning, a child is missing, a man has been murdered, and a spectral black dog has been sighted. But, I mean, that's innocent compared to where the story goes. In classic Gothic horror tradition, Kowalski's buildings in this remote estate creak, and the eerie light of fires and candles, rendered as only Brad Simpson can, guide our hero into into Mankey and and Dawson's mystery. But for all those creators, there's a sense of unity and vision. The narrative unravels slowly, revealing the frightening unrealities that hold the universe together. Dark dreams lead to arcane revelations as the worlds of terror and truth mix. Mankey and Dawson's story pulled me in, hinting at Hound of the Baskervilles here and European folktales there, bringing myths and historical figures together in a compelling fictional shell. It'll be a long time before I forget the fate of some of the Duke's compatriots. And along the way, tantalizing fragments of the history of Wellington himself come through, minor revelations that cast past conversations in new light when the relationships between characters suddenly become clear after a secret is whispered. The tale is unsettling and creepy, and like some of my favorite stories, as much as the characters and plot drove me forward, what's really going to stick with me is the feeling, the mood, and that's where the team of Mankey, Dawson, Kowalski, and Simpson, plus letterers Krista Meisner and Valerie Lopez, really shine. They come together like they've been working with one another forever. This is a fantastic balance of words and image presenting a unified feeling of palpable darkness. So visit the IDW website or your local comic book store or bookseller and check out Wellington by creator Aaron Mankey, Delilah Dawson, Piotr Kowalski, Brad Simpson, and company, including some wonderfully twisted illustrations by the inimitable Robert Hack, all overseen by editor Chase Maratz. And as always, let's use this time to connect and keep the IDW community active. That's all for this week. Remember, you can keep up with IDW on social media and check back here every week for news and updates. Thanks for watching.